definitely inspired from one of my favorite restaurants in Austin. So uh, let's give this a taste. Hey guys, welcome back for another video. On today's cook, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Most of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be spent inside instead of outside in the cold, but it's actually a dish that I was kinda of, sorta of practicing as I was getting ready for Chopped. So if you guys watched when I competed on Chopped, uh, I was in a pork episode, but initially the category that I was supposed to go out for was like a steak episode. Uh, so in preparation of that, I did cook, you know, steaks every now and then, but I was trying to think like, man, what is that? If they, what if they changed the idea of what steak is or played around with that word and all I kind of uh, came to mind was like, oh man, what if in their appetizer they threw in a ahi tuna steak? With that idea, this is kind of the inspiration for this dish and also from one of my favorite restaurants in Austin called Uchi. One of my favorite dishes there is, I think, they ha I think it's like a cured hamachi uh, with yuca chips. And so I wanted to play around with that dish because I love the you know, the different textures in the dish and also the super bright uh, flavors in it. And I want to do my own version of it. So this is my collab of, I guess, Uchi and preparation for Chopped, even though I didn't end up cooking steaks or tuna at all. But this is a dish that I came up with. All right, so here is our ahi tuna steak. We're just gonna salt it for now. Um, and so this is my plan. So my initial plan was to grill this, but my concern is that it, I don't want it to stay on too long because I don't want to cook very long on the grill, which made me think, well, if I don't keep it on there long enough, I don't know if I'll be able to get it off the grill, even if I oiled it really well, and I don't want my steak to fall apart. What I'm gonna do is instead of grilling it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cold smoke it for maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna bring it back inside and I'm gonna pan sear it. That way I can ensure that it's gonna be safe, it's not gonna fall apart, and that I'll still get the smokiness that I want from this without necessarily worrying about it breaking or sticking to the grill. Next, we're gonna slice up a jalapeno. It's really thin slices for uh, for our garnish. I don't want it to be super spicy and blow someone's palate out the water, so we're gonna try to make these super, super thin. We just wanna add a little bit of texture and a little uh, heat profile to it, so uh, you know I don't want these giant like wedges that you would see if you're trying to pickle some jalapenos. But let's try to keep it super thin. And also, you know, if you want to, you can take out the seeds as well, because uh, we don't want to Again, make it super spicy. Next, we're gonna garnish with some apple. Same thing like the jalapeno, I wanna keep these super thin. You know, we just wanna add some texture, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat with, the, with our garnishes, but we don't wanna do anything that's gonna overtake the fish. So what I wanna do with the tuna is put something in a little bit more savory. We're gonna kinda of create a little bit of a dip for it. And so we're gonna start with just a little bit of soy sauce, a little rice wine vinegar, some mirin, and a squeeze of some lime in there. We're just gonna add just a small drizzle of some honey just to give it a little bit of sweetness, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. That lime really fixes a lot of issues of it being really, really salty. Yeah, I don't want it to be super sweet like a teriyaki sauce. I just want it to be balanced. I want it to be salty. I want it to be sweet. I want it to be slightly acidic. Again, this tuna is just going to be dipped in this for, and maybe kept in there for just a few seconds. That's good. I like it. So we're going to hold this off, and then once we slice up the tuna, we'll dip it in there, and they'll be ready to go. So this is our yuca. I'm going to peel the outsides of them and then get it on a mandolin and get some really nice thin slices. All right, so we got this nice and peeled up. We'll square this off right here. We'll slice it down the middle so we can get some nice long slices. All right, here's the scary part of making this dish is using the mandolin, so please be careful. Uh, this might be a little thick. We might have to run down a little bit. All right, 
yeah, these are much better. Uh, and then even though they have these little cracks in them, I actually kind of like it because it starts to get a little bit these crispier edges towards the center. So what we'll do is we're gonna set these aside and we're gonna get some oil going and fry these up. Pretty good. Let's fry some more up. All right, so here is our seared and cold smoked tuna steak. Let's get some nice slices out of this. All right, there you go. Tastes really good. I wouldn't say that there, I wouldn't be able to tell you there's smoke on there. So eh, maybe, actually, I don't think so. I don't know. You guys probably out for yourself. You let me know. We're gonna take a couple nice slices out of this. We're gonna dip it in there real quick while we kind of assemble and build the rest of the dish. And again, we're going to and just soak them in here just for a little bit while we assemble the rest of the dish. There have it guys, this is my uh, the dish that I kind of played around with while I was getting ready for Chopped. Um, whether or not it would have gotten me to the finals, I don't know, but definitely inspired from one of my favorite restaurants in Austin. So uh, let's give this a taste. So I'm gonna grab one of these yuca chips that we fried earlier. Take one of these pieces. I will say, guys, I was a little bit nervous because I haven't done this dish or practiced this dish in probably eight months or so, but it's pretty good. Hopefully, this is something that you guys would want to try out in the future. Uh, it's a really, really fun dish to kind of practice and do different types of preps like frying things, cold smoking, you know, just searing in a pan and just a lot of like knife skills, which my knife skills stink, but uh, it's something that I'm always trying to practice, uh, especially since I'm only used to kind of trimming meat when it's raw and cutting it when it's done for a tray but i know my knife skills have a lot more ways to go so uh yeah this was super fun i hope you guys enjoy this video i know it's a little bit different from what i normally do but just kind of nice to play around with something new thing in the future i would like to bridge the gap between different types of you know cooking techniques with the barbecue that i do know as well um, if you guys like this video make sure you like subscribe share this video with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one